Hello! I thought I would do a reading vlog. I'm not sure what kind of a reading vlog this is. It's not the weekend. It's not a weekly vlog. Maybe it's like an Easter vlog. So today is Thursday and I'm on what we call Easter break. So I've got about like 10 days off from work, which is just so amazing i have just been sleeping in relaxing reading a lot of books watching some easter crime tv shows i talked about that in another video that i made that in norway it's so typical in the regions to read a lot of crime novels and also to watch a lot of like crime tv series and i have no clue how that tradition was made like where it comes from and why we have it but it's totally a thing in norway i mean my last video i said that i would google it after i made the video but i totally forgot so i have not googled it now either so i have no clue why that is a thing in norway but it is a thing so i've been watching this um british tv show called the bay which is like a crime series and I actually really enjoy it so I try to watch one episode each day of this Easter break and I've also been eating a lot of candy and we have also tried to like go for a couple of hikes and some walks and stuff like that and today uh, like my legs now are hurting so bad because we went for this mountain hike and we have walked that same hike before but today my legs are just like killing me i'm just so tired as well i had a nap after dinner and i mean that really helped but my legs are still like so ugh, they're just hurting a lot <laughs> but yeah i'm starting this vlog in like the evening it's about like 10 30 in the last couple of hours, I've just been reading my book. I'm reading so slowly this evening and it's really weird because I'm really, really like into the book. I'm just really hooked. It is so good and I'm really enjoying it. But for some reason, I just struggle focusing. And I think it's just because I'm having so much fun with making YouTube videos and making like different content for my Instagram. So I've just been like checking Instagram and scrolling and watching a lot of youtube and yeah but it's okay i'm on easter break and i can do whatever i want to whenever i want to so i have read a bit slowly this evening but i think i read like 30 pages now and it's so good i've talked so much about this series i'm like starting to feel that i'm really annoying about it but i just love it so much and i'm reading what i think is the last book i think that because unfortunately earliest earlier this year uh, the author of this book, Rachel Kane, actually died. So I just, I think this is the last book, but I'm not sure. Maybe she has written another book as well before she passed away. I have no clue, but I just, I think this is the last book in the series. So I'm just so nervous about how this series will end because this has meant so much to me. And like, I'm on page 136 now out of like 300 and something and things are happening and i'm just so nervous because i'm so scared that someone will die or someone will split up or something like tragic will happen so i'm really nervous <laughs> but i'm really enjoying it it's just it's so good i loved all of the books in this series so much i've given them like five stars all of them am i crazy i don't know it's just i guess it's just my cup of tea you know I guess for some people this is just an ordinary thriller or mystery series but to me it's just it checks off all my boxes and it's just so entertaining so I just love it so much. I may watch some TV or something with my boyfriend later but he is currently playing some computer games so I'm just gonna read my book for a while.
I'm sitting here reading my book again. I put on some cozy fireplace ambience thing on the TV and I'm just reading my book. So now I'm on page 280 out of... How many pages is this? Out of 314. So I don't have a lot of pages left and there's so much happening right now. I'm so scared. It's starting to get really really creepy it's like oh it's just awful to be honest it's so dark and so scary and i have mixed feelings because these are the last 30 pages of the series and i'm just really sad about it <laughs> but at the same time like i cannot wait to see how things end and things are just really awful right now so many horrible things are happening and there's this crazy killer that some of the characters has to like fight <laughs> and i just hope that the characters that i love so much just i mean survives basically <laughs> it's really scary it's really really dark at the moment and just so sad to be honest so i'm just really uh, i need to know what happens i'm not sure if i will finish this tonight it's pretty late now it's like 11 in the evening and i actually thought i would play some life is strange because i am trying to make some progress now that i actually have the time to play some computer games as well so i've been playing life is strange for a while now and i thought i would try to finish it this Easter break but I mean 30 pages I'm a slow reader but I've been reading a lot today like I even read as you may see in this vlog I read like while eating dinner and that that is not something I usually do because I find it so stressful to be eating while reading um, but I was just I'm like I'm addicted I'm like oh, I need to know what happens there's so much going on <sighs> I don't know if I actually told you what this book is about. I will do that a bit later. I just wanted to talk about the fact that I know that I talk a lot about like loving this series and I really do. It's so entertaining and suspenseful and intense and so hard to put down. But at the same time, I realized that this may... I mean, they have like super good ratings at Goodreads. So I think a lot of people like them. But the books are not super well known and I realized that for some people these books may be a bit like over the top sometimes because I know that when I read this this is the fifth book about this family and I'm like oh my god how much bad luck do these people have like how much horrible things will happen in their life I know that Rachel Cain loved writing long series but when it's a thriller series i've thought a lot of times like oh, you need to stop now because eventually it can become a bit dumb when like so many horrible things happens to this family and they like they can never get peace but i don't know i think i still think is well done i think that is a factor that probably some people wouldn't like with these books Maybe they would enjoy like the first and the second book and then they would be like, ugh, this is a bit too much. Like what are the odds of everything like happening? And I realized that like it's not, it's probably not that realistic, but I just think it's well done. I really, I'm so invested in the story and I find it so interesting and it's honestly so freaking entertaining so I'm like okay realistic or not I love the writing I love the characters the story is so intense and it's just entertaining and that's why I read books because I want to be entertained by them so yeah <laughs>
Hello, it's Sunday now and I'm actually waiting for a live stream on YouTube because I actually follow Books Unbound, uh, a book podcast that I really love. I follow them on Patreon. So if you're a Patreon member, they have these monthly live shows and they're really fun. They basically just talk about books with their followers on Patreon and then they also have like uh, reading sprints in between the talking so that's a lot of fun so I thought I would read a little bit and then watch this live stream because it's just really fun so I did not end up playing Life is Strange yesterday <laughs> I ended up finishing the book it's crazy like I tried the last couple of days to read at least 50 pages a day just like for a challenge for myself and I was able to read like 60 pages on Thursday and about like 50, 54 or something on Friday. And yesterday I read freaking 97 pages. And to me that's insane. Like I never read that much in a day. So I guess that just really means that I love the book. Uh, I could just not put it down. I had plans to watch uh, something on TV and to play Life is Strange. But... As I realized like, that I was near the ending of the book, I was like, oh my god, I have 30 pages left, 20 pages left. I could not put it down when I had just a little bit left of the book. So I finished it and I really enjoyed it. Now it is about time for me to tell you what this book is actually about. So for me to tell you what this is about, I think I need to tell you a bit about the first book just to like explain what this series is about because this is as i told you the fifth and last book and this is the first one it's called still house lake so this is the still house lake series and we follow a woman called gina royal she finds out that her husband is a serial killer and it's such a big shock to her and i know that this really seems like such a spoiler but honestly this happens in some of the very first pages of the book and it's kind of what everything is about so early on we find out that he was a serial killer and then we follow Gina and her two kids <laughs> through this weird life they now have. I mean, he was a serial killer so it's all over the news and a lot of people actually believe that Gina was in on it, that she helped him. So obviously they get a lot of haters and there are a lot of like internet trolls. They get death threats, they get stalkers. There's just a lot of threats and it's super scary. So they always have to move around and then they move to Stillhouse Lake. And they hope that they can like start a new life there. And it's just really hard because of all the threats and people are like following them and doing all kinds of weird things to them. And it's just super scary. So not only <laughs> did this family like get the biggest shock of their lives, but they also like the kids have they're kind of like going through almost like a process of grief because they had a father and then suddenly they find out that he is so evil and it's just really crazy for all of them and they're just trying to like continue on with their lives and the first book it's a lot about like different kind of threats they get and she starts getting these creepy letters and yeah but then there are like all kinds of different things that happens in their lives. And so in the fifth book, we still follow Gina and her two kids. Let me see how much I can read from the back. I don't want to like spoil things from the earlier books. It says, he may seem invisible, but killers can't hide from her. A car submerged in a remote pond, the bodies of two girls strapped into their seats. The mystery of their mother vanished without a trace leads Gwen Proctor and Cassia Claremont into dangerous territory. Trouble's just beginning. So is the body count in this backwoods Tennessee town. As threats mount and Gwen's hunted by an enemy who pulls all the strings, Cassia has her back. But working to solve these vicious and unreasonable crimes will expose them both to a killer they can't for the life of them see coming. So yeah, I just loved it. It was so freaking good. I know that I've said that I loved all of these books. I may be crazy. I may be hyping them. I don't know why I love them so much. I just think it's written in a good way. They're intense, suspenseful. There's great characters. You got some romance, some teenage angst, some oh, just a little bit of everything. And 
I just loved it. So the only thing is that this, since this was the last book, I kind of, I felt that I had the need to, to like wrap it in or like just wrap it up. I mean, like I wanted to see, maybe it would, ni would be nice to see like one year later or 10 years later or something like that because it's the last book because I felt that there was so much going on and it was so intense and just like bam 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 and then suddenly it's just it just ended and we got an epilogue and that really like I needed the epilogue just to like see it, that was kind of like a wrap up I still would love just a couple of pages of like five years later just to like see how everything is going and yeah, I would like that because it's so intense, so much happening and then it just feels like BAM! It's done! Five books, done! Ah. <laughs> I'm kind of having like a book hangover. I was exhausted yesterday <laughs> when I went to bed. But I actually have started two new books today. So I've started Poppy by Christina Getz. This is a Norwegian thriller. And then I started a horror book on my Kindle written by Keelan Patrick Burke and it's called The House on Abigail Lane. So that's what I'm going to be reading uh, a bit now when I'm gonna watch this live show. Okay, it's about time to wrap this video up and from Thursday to Sunday I was actually able to read 255 pages for me that's insane and I also listened to an audiobook for 30 minutes so I started a new audiobook called One Stupid Thing and it's written by Stuart Lewis and I don't know what I think about it yet I'm not super interested but I think I will keep on listening and then, as you saw, I finished Heartbreak Bay, the last book in the Stillhouse Lake series, and it devastated me. I really loved it. For some reason, these books are just some of my favorite. I really enjoyed it. It was suspenseful. It was an interesting story. It was so nice to revisit the characters. And the only thing that may be a bit negative was that since this was the last book I would kind of like an ending where like I would like just like a couple of pages that would be like 10 years after or one year later or like five years later something like that just to like wrap it up a bit more because it was so intense there was so much happening so it was just like bam 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 and then suddenly it's just over <laughs> But that may be something about how this writing process was for Rachel Kane, as she was very sick and that she didn't really know that if this was going to be her last book or not. So yeah, there's actually one page author's note and it's so freaking sad. I kind of want to read it to you. Can I read that? Yeah, I'm going to do it because <laughs> it was just beautiful and super sad and Ugh. It's a strange place, 2020, when I'm writing this book. We're in the grip of a pandemic. Death tolls are rising. People are frightened and wanting answers and hope and an end to fear. I'm in a strange place too. My own personal tunnel is very long and I'm walking toward the light. I have soft tissue sarcoma, a rare aggressive and fast moving cancer. I'm starting clinical trials with a research center in hopes of finding a way through. I don't know if this is my last book. I don't know if I'll make it to the light. But like Gwen, I am on the path. I am walking. Like Gwen, I have enough love because of people like you. You made it possible for me to be here to tell this story. If this is the last of Gwen's story, then I hope you feel it was worthwhile. I do. I wish you well with all my heart. Choose kindness. Oh, it's just so beautiful. I just... Oh, I love Rachel Kane. She... I mean, it was totally worth it. I love, love this series. I would highly recommend it. 
After I finished that book, I actually picked up Poppy by Christina Getz. I don't think this is translated into English. I think it's only published in Norwegian so far. It is a thriller and it seems to be a lot about social media as the main character is a big blogger. And she posts a lot about her two-year-old daughter. And then suddenly her daughter disappears. It seems that she has been kidnapped. And is this like someone trying to teach her a lesson because she's exposing her child so much? I think it's a super interesting topic. Or is it something from her past? And yeah, it sounds really interesting. I'm only like 30 pages in. The only thing I'm struggling with when it comes to this book is that I don't like reading about social media in fiction. Like nonfiction, I'm, it's such an interesting topic. And the plot for this, like, it sounds super interesting and it's so relevant, but I just, I hate reading about like hashtags and I mean I like social media but also I don't like it <laughs> for a lot of reasons and it's really dumb like internet is so weird sometimes so it's just for some reason I realized that I do not like reading about like and that's when someone is like texting or they talk about Instagram and Snapchat and it's just so weird I for some reason I don't like it but I will definitely give this book a chance because I've heard that it's so good and it seems really interesting. So it's not something that makes me put down the book, but I'm just like every time they mention like a blog or like Instagram or likes and stuff like that, I'm just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Then I also started reading a book on my Kindle. I started The House on Abigail Lane by Keelan Patrick Burke and... Uh, it's a creepy horror short story about this creepy house and I'm just loving the vibe of it It's super interesting and his books are often like very like supernatural And I love that supernatural aspect to it because you don't know what to expect because it's just so much weird shit going on So I'm only like 15 pages into it. So it's way too early to tell you that much about it, but um, My first impression is good and then, as you saw in this vlog, I actually played some uh, computer games as well. The only computer game I've ever played is like The Sims, and I love The Sims, but it's I've never like tried any other games. And so I actually finished Life is Strange. And I know I'm a bit late to the game, I think this game came out in like 2015 or something. But I started it this year and I just finished it and it was so freaking good. I will highly recommend it if you have not tried it out. It's uh, it's pretty much like a book or like a story that you just walk through and you have to take different choices and it's very emotional and it's so aesthetically pretty and the, amaz uh, the uh, music is ama amazing and yeah, I just loved it. It was so emotional, like I was just crying and oh yeah. And I actually started playing the next game in this like series or it's about some of the same characters so it's called the life is strange before the storm and it also seems interesting i'm not as interested in this game as the previous one uh, and i also have this other similar game that is called tell me why that i'm kind of more interested in so i might might start that one as well but yeah so i've started Life is Strange Before the Storm and I'm having a lot of fun with playing some computer games as well that's also a hobby I enjoy so I want to do more of that as well so it's just been a long weekend full of amazing entertainment <laughs> now I hope you enjoyed this vlog if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up that will make me so happy and I'll talk to you very very soon <laughs> goodbye